How's it going, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and I have a short tutorial video. So, if you guys haven't heard, there is a, there is a way of getting into the homebrew launcher on your latest 3DS firmware version 11.0.033U. It's really easy. Now, in the description, there are three links. The first link that you should see are the Dropbox files. Now, if you don't have those files, make sure you download them, extract them, and then place them on the root of your SD card. But for those who already have those files, it's like, yeah, I already have the files and such, you can skip this step, okay? Now, the next link in the description you have to download menu hacks, cause apparently Nintendo likes to patch the homebrew launcher using browser hacks, and yeah, it's been going on for some time. So if you want a way of getting into the homebrew launcher, make sure you download the menu hacks manager, also place it on the root of your SD card, and you should be ready to go. Make sure you take out your SD card from the PC, once they're all done, and then put it back in your tier 3 yes. And then the third link that you should see is a website, and it has a QR code, okay? Now, tell your 3 yes if you haven't already, and then access the camera. Once you do that, click on the QR scanner, and scan the QR code on the website, and it should take you straight into the homebrew launcher. Now, that method is the browser hacks version. If you want a way of getting into the homebrew launcher without the browser, then that's where the menu hacks manager comes in. So, if you look on the bottom here, let me fix it real quick. So it's easier for you guys to see, gosh darn it. You see menu hacks slash manager version 2.1. Make sure you run that when you reach the homebrew launcher for the first time. Make sure you run that, and then you should be able to access the homebrew launcher. Quite that simple, actually, okay? So, all you have to do is turn on your 3DS, and then push the L button, as well as the power button, and then you should be able to access the homebrew launcher like that. And that's all you have to do, guys. It's really easy. It's just like the earlier versions from, like, 10.4, 10.5, or something like that. It's really easy. So, if you're still stuck, uh, watch this video again, and uh, if you're still stuck, make sure you leave a question in the comments section below. Make sure you like this video if you enjoyed this, and have fun with your 3DS with the homebrew launcher. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned for more content. See ya!